Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a switch kit on a DeWalt DW705 miter saw. A while back, the original switch for the DeWalt DW705 miter saw was discontinued, and for a time it looked like there would be no replacement available. So if the switch went bad on your saw, you'd have no choice but to discard the saw. Fortunately, DeWalt came out with a retrofit kit that replaces the switch as well as the handle so that the new switch will work on your saw. In this video, we're going to show you how to do that. We'll get started by removing the top handle and the switch handle assembly. I'll begin with the top handle. Now I'll remove the fasteners on the switch handle assembly. With the top half of the switch housing removed, now we have access to the switch and all of the wires. We need to remove all of this from the lower switch housing so we can replace it. So I'll start by removing the ground wire. Now I'll remove the cord clamp. And the cord clamp can be discarded because we won't use it with the new switch kit. Next I'll remove the screw that secures the switch to the handle. Now I can pull the switch away from the handle and remove the wires that are on the switch. Now I'll remove the wire nut from the white cord wire and the white filled wire. Now I'll pull the wires away from the lower handle. Then there's one last screw that secures the lower handle to the saw. I'll remove that screw and then pull the wires away from the handle. Now we can begin installing the new kit. I'll begin with the lower handle. First I'll thread the wires through the opening in the lower handle. Then I'll mount the handle onto the top of the motor and secure it with the same screw that we used from the last handle. Now I want to get the old cord ready to go back into the saw. We no longer use the strain relief, so I'll just simply pull it off and discard it. For a cleaner installation, I want to get rid of this old part of the cord that was crushed by the cord clamp. So I'm going to use a knife to carefully cut the insulation on the cord, and I'll pull that piece off. And I'll just pull that old piece of the insulation away from the wires. With our cord ready to go, now I can slide that back into the tab on the new handle. And you'll notice they've provided some smaller tabs for each of the individual wires. 
And I'll just slide those wires through the tabs. Like that. I'll start rewiring by taking care of the ground wire first. I'm going to route it to the back of the saw, again through the opening, and then secure it back onto the saw with the screw, the same screw we used previously. Now I'll take the white cord wire and the white filled wire and secure those back together with the wire nut. And again, tuck those out of the way. Now I'm going to route the yellow and the red wire through our handle assembly. With the new switch, the yellow and red wire both need to go to the side of the switch closest to the guard. So again, I'll just use the provided tabs to route those wires through the handle. On the opposite side of the handle, I'll route the black wire from the cord and the black wire from the field to the front of the switch. The new switch uses a different style of fastener for the wires. It's a slide-on style rather than the old eyelets. We also need to cut the wires to length. So I'll set the new switch inside the handle. And now we can use the switch to gauge the length of the wires. I basically want to cut off each wire even with the end of the copper tab on the switch. With the wires all trimmed to length, now I'll use my wire strippers to strip back about a quarter of an inch of insulation from each one. DeWalt has included the new spade type connectors with the kit. I'll crimp one of these onto the end of each wire. DeWald includes a wiring diagram with the kit, but I found a discrepancy between the switch that was in the kit and the wiring diagram. If you look on the back of the switch, it actually shows the poles on either side of the switch. You'll notice that one side of the switch shows a diagram with the switch in the open position. This is the side you want to connect the black wire from the cord and the black wire from the field. 
The diagram on the opposite side of the switch shows the switch in the closed position. That's the side we want to attach the red and the yellow brake wires. Now I want to secure the switch to the lower handle. You'll notice there's two holes. You want to use the hole closest to the switch body. The switch kit includes the screw for this. I want to take one last check and make sure all of the wires are down in their tabs and out of the way so they don't get pinched when we put the upper part of the handle in place. When it all looks good, I'll set the handle on and secure it with the fasteners. There's four new screws included in the kit for the front portion of the handle and we'll reuse the old screws in the back. And we'll finish up by installing the new top handle and fastening it with the old screws. And that's all it takes to install a switch kit on your DW705 miter saw. This is a repair that can breathe new life into your old saw. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to leave a comment or ask us a question.